Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. And in the midst of all the Picard Season 3 reviews, I have decided to watch Star Trek The Next Generation and review its pilot for you. Enjoy. Wes Harmin Freund and welcome to yet another video. My dear, dear friends, in the midst of all this craziness, the internet craziness that is surrounding Picard season 3 and the two previous seasons which apparently, from what people say, are not as good as season 3, I have decided to rewatch Star Trek The Next Generation. Oh yes, indeed. And I am here, my dear friends, in the midst of all the reviews and conflicting reviews, that is, of Picard Season 3, I am here to review, uh -huh, well, what do you think? Star Trek The Next Generation Encounter at Farpoint. Yes, because I am fed up to the back of my teeth with uh, the modern entertainment. And uh, whatever you think about Picard Season 3, I have no opinion about Season 3. Because I haven't seen it, nor do I really want to see it. And even though people are telling me it's good, that would mean because I've got a little bit of an OCD, that uh, I would have to watch the first two seasons of Picard. And from the reviews, it's apparently it's an atrocious TV show and a desecration of Star Trek The Next Generation. And I refuse to devote my precious time to suffer through two seasons so just, I, just so I can watch season three, that apparently has some nice member berries. So instead... Of this, I ventured into the 24th century to the uh, Federation Starship Enterprise D and I joined the crew of Enterprise in their journey to examine the Farpoint station at Deneb 4, my dear friends. And I do suggest every single one of you do that. Well, of course, then, if you haven't seen, if you've never seen Star Trek The Next Generation, which is a tremendous mistake if you haven't. Uh, well, it's, you know, started coming out in the 1980s and then ended in the 1990s. So it's a little bit, uh, little bit um, a, a long way from that point. Uh, so, but, you know, what they say, better late than never. I do suggest you watch it. But if you haven't, you might want to leave this uh, video and watch uh, the pilot and then come back to uh, watch my review. So nothing is spoiled for you. So let us continue. Uh, and uh, examine the far point station which was constructed by the bandy people and offered it to uh, the federation of course well but i think that most of us know what the episode is about and um just of, of course also the uh the appearance of q uh as uh, the grand inquisitor and uh, from what I can remember, this is also the first case when the emergency saucer separation maneuver um, appeared. Now, please keep in mind, I'm not an expert in Star Trek. Now, I've, I've, I've got only very surface knowledge of Star Trek. I'm a fan of the original series. I watched some Next Generation, a, a bit of it, when I was a wee lad. And uh, for this reason, I have decided to rewatch it all from the beginning to the end so I can uh, relive the excitement I felt when I was a little kid and I was watching The Next Generation with my dad. Now, um, I remember correctly that a lot of the episodes, I think, um, were venturing into uh, philosophical, metaphysical uh, questions about uh, morality and uh, what's good and right. And uh, there were a lot of uh, lessons that uh, one could learn from. And also, from what I, <coughs> I can remember, um, they were not afraid to be a little bit more, <coughs> well, jokey as far as, uh, uh, you know, like sexual innuendos go, uh, or whatever you want to call it, which was, of course, at the time, uh, very popular, very, I think, uh, nice for the audience. It was a little bit uh, refreshing after the more uh, conservative original series. But of course, is everything, if I remember correctly, this uh, Next Generation series, um, 
was at the time a little bit divisive because I think, you know, that as usual when there is a fan of something that is called the original, you will always view the new stuff with uh, eh, closed eyes and uh, dis disrespect and disbelief. But I think that Captain Jean-Luc Picard and his crew were able to um, grasp the attention of uh, many a viewer for generations to come. Now, um, <laughs> also, I was uh, pretty much um, surprised and shocked because uh, I think that for the majority of uh, the next generation, uh, Commander Riker uh, had his beard already full grown. And in, <laughs> in, in this pilot and in the subsequent episodes, he's still clean shaved <laughs> and, and he looks very young, very young indeed. He was a good looking man. I mean, I am, I am a heterosexual, but I can admit that a man is good looking. So I can imagine that he had, at the time, a lot of female fans. Um, so this particular episode, The Encounter at Farpoint, uh, goes in the vein of what I mentioned at the beginning of the video. This is, uh, you know, the moral lesson. And it all revolves around Q being the Grand Inquisitor and accusing the humanity of being barbaric. And Captain Jean, look, he asks Q to, uh, well, let, him, let them prove it they are not, in fact, barbaric, that we have uh, evolved, that uh, we have ceased to be barbarians and uh, uncivilized. Well, the way I look at the world right now, it doesn't seem as we were approaching or heading in that precise, precise direction. It seems to me that we have turned around 180 degrees and going the opposite direction. But uh, I, can, uh, I, I could appreciate especially... Um, the acting of, uh, well, uh, Patrick Stewart and all the other actors, uh, as well as uh, the Q um, character and the actor who portrayed Q. Now his name slips my mind. I'm sure a lot of you will mention it in the comments down below. Um, but what I also remembered, and uh, those of you who know Red Dwarf might know, might realize that uh, there was a lot of uh, influence and inspiration that came from Star Trek, both the original series and of The Next Generation, into the Red Dwarf uh, British sitcom. Uh, and it's, just just watching or re-watching this pilot to The Next Generation, not only did I remember myself watching it when I was little, but also uh, I remembered myself watching Red Dwarf years later uh, for the first time <laughs> because some of the scenes reminded me of Red Dwarf more than of Star Trek The Next Generation that might say something about my age or I, I, I don't know. But um, um, I appreciate it also the fact that they tried to make things a little bit different as far as um, the progress of uh, not only technology, but uh, everything else, really, as opposed to the the or the original series, the costumes or uh, you know the uniforms are different. They are updated. They they look more like uniforms than uh, just simple and plain uh, yellow and blue and red t-shirts <laughs> with badges. But that if that is of of course all of a part of the original series. Very ro very romantic in my eyes. Very nostalgic. Very inseparable from the original series. I wouldn't change a thing. Um, you can also feel the approach of the 90s and uh, the way they, they recorded uh, TV shows and films back then. Already, at the was I think it was made like in the second half of the 1980s, the, this, this pilot, but already, already you can feel the 90s approaching. And uh, that's just... I, I mean, I, I was watching it and I, the, all my childhood was, was just, just brought back. So we follow the new crew of Enterprise D just coming together, uh, getting to know each other and uh, trying to prove to Q this uh, higher being uh, acting as the Grand Inquisitor in this particular episode um, that uh, we have actually become better beings and much higher, much uh, more worthy our existence than uh, we were in the past. Um, out of all the acting uh, in this particular episode, in this pilot, I have to have to point out Q. I mean, this man, this actor, and I know he will reappear in later episodes, uh, he just uh, knocked it 
I mean, he he was perfect in, in that role. And I can't wait to uh, watch more. As of making of this video, I've seen about five or six, maybe seven episodes. I'm not sure right now. And um, I, I also know that uh, the further the uh, series, the show gets, the better it gets. And uh, I just can't wait for watching the rest. All right, then. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think, my friends. Uh, do you prefer the next generation or the original series? Do you even watch Star Trek? Do you even care about Star Trek? Or have you watched nine or ten minutes uh, of European law bambling about sci-fi just because you like me? All right, then. Let me know all about it. And that will be all. Thank you very much for watching. And Namarie. Oh, yeah. And the Forrest Kelly's cameo was fantastic.